welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So you may have noticed in one of my recent videos, I talked about the VHF and UHF antenna that I've got installed up on a chimney. Well, that's mainly used for vertical if I wanna, you know, chat on two meters or 77. And I wanted to get something that was horizontally polarized so I could work some SSB. So I ordered this two meter halo from Moonwaker in the UK. And this is uh, this is what's arrived. It's actually quite quite small. I actually thought it, it was gonna be a lot larger than this, but obviously it doesn't, doesn't need to be. It just needs to be the right size. So let's have a look to see what we get in the box. So literally, I've just taken this out of the box. This is the, obviously the main halo. Uh, we have a, a bracket here and we also have uh, this mounting pole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how this attaches together. So we're just gonna take off this, this cap here. And what you'll notice is we have this little metal block. Now, first of all, I did actually think that it's gonna go and attach like this, but it doesn't, doesn't actually seem, seem quite right. So what we actually have to do is we take off this nut. And uh, the little washer there. Uh, we've also need to take off this element here. So I'm just gonna unscrew and screw this. Uh, and then this comes out. Now in here, you do have two lugs. So we've got the driven element lug and then we've got the uh, the earth side or the outer braid of the coax would, would, would go here. But what we need to do, we need to remove this little metal block. So take that out. take off one of the end caps and then it will slide out quite nicely. So once the little metal bracket has been taken out of here, we can then just take off the end cap, slide it up so the hole meets. We can then put the end cap back on if we want to. Slide in the bolt so it goes through and then we can attach it back to the, the actual halo. Put the washer on and the nut. Not going to do that up tight just yet because we still need to attach this this element here onto the side. So take the screw that we took off earlier, or the bolt rather. and just clamp that up. Just gonna do it loose for the moment. And then we've got the nut here and this nut here. Uh, and there we go. That's the, that is how it goes together. So I think we're gonna go ahead and have a little play with this. And, uh, but the first thing I need to do obviously is to connect up some coax to this. So let's just go ahead and uh, connect up a bit of coax to this so we can, so we can try it out. That is now soldered on. We have the outer braid connected to the earth side lug and we have the inner part of the coax 
connected to the to the element here. So now what I can do is I can slide up slide up this make sure it's uh, straight and just using a little bit of uh, electrical tape I can secure it here So you can put them down the pole as much as you want. So I think it's uh, so the other end is going to have a PL259 on it, uh, which will then plug into uh, my radio. Now, don't forget, I am using here this is RG58U, so this is actually quite lossy at two meters. Um, I probably will upgrade this cable at some point to uh, try and minimize loss. Uh, but uh, but for now, for testing, uh, I'm going to be just using with this nice thin and easy cable. Let's see if we can put it up on a pole somewhere temporarily, and uh, and see if it works. So here we are in the garden, and as you can see, I've mounted it on this pole here. So it just kind of peaks uh, just about a foot above above the shed roof. There, you can see in the in the background uh, my dual man collinear up on the chimney. That is exactly where this is going to be going. It's going to be going up there alongside the uh, collinear. So, but uh, for today's test, we're just going to test it where it is there. G A R W G M zero D Q W. Yes, M zero D Q W G A R W G. Okay then, Matt. And um, yeah, I, I just did a quick test actually when you came back, and um, there's hardly any difference in your signal at this end between a vertical and, and horizontal um, polarisation. Well, I've gone back to horizontal polarisation on transmit at the moment here. And if you just stand by one moment. I'm now transmitting on vertical um, polarisation. So just to see if um, actually the halo is, 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 is recognising those differences or if it's so close to your garage roof or actually it's going to be in the clear uh, a bit more before it will, um, you know, pick up the uh, horizontally polarised signals a bit, uh, a bit stronger. Anyway, back to you. Um, zero D Q W G A T R W G. Uh, G A R W G M zero D Q W. Well, there's definitely a difference between um, uh, between vertical and horizontal on receive. Uh, so on horizontal, uh, I mean I'm on the halo now, so on horizontal you are uh, 5, 9 plus, plus 10 and uh, when you switch to vertical it, uh, yeah, you went down to about 5 and 8, 5 and 9. Uh, still, still perfectly readable but uh, I suppose it just kind of proves the, um, uh, the, whole, the whole theory of uh, horizontal and vertical polarisation. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, to get it up into the air. Um, my SWR actually at the moment is peaking about two. Um, I can just see it on the uh, on the video here as I'm recording. It's peaking about two, but as you say, it's probably going to be um, uh, probably go down dramatically once uh, once I get it out um, up in the air and in the clear. So. Uh, so great, yes, um, I, I've called out CQ quite a few times, even vertically polarised on uh, uh, 144300 and 144265 as well, and uh, never really had much luck really, but uh, I'm in quite a good location here. Um, I think I'm about six, just over about 620 feet above sea level, so uh, I've got a quite a nice takeoff up here, but uh, uh, I think one of the issues is uh, uh, may have been antennas letting me down. So the whole reason for me going for the halo was because it was a nice, easy uh, two meter option. So, uh, but so I could get horizontally polarized. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to be uh, quite looking forward to getting it up in the air. And also on this test, I'm I'm only using RJ RG fifty eight U. So uh, the and it's about a fifteen meter run of coax. So. Uh, I'd imagine I've probably got anywhere between 4 and 7 dB worth of loss. But uh, when it goes up, it's uh, I'm going to run it with uh, 213. Uh, I think I've got some of that knocking around. 
But uh, anyway, Niels, thank you so much for the contact, and um, yeah, absolutely great. Thanks for uh, trying that out. It's uh, I'm, I'm glad that it's working. G A R W G M zero D Q W. Okay, M zero D Q W G A R W G. Okay, Matt, and uh, no, certainly working okay, and. Um I'll be testing two and other tests once you've got the uh, antenna up a bit higher on the, on the mast that you're going to screw on to uh, eventually. Um, because I'm sure it'll be um, a bit of a difference as will be uh, far more noticeable um, then. Anyway, I won't hold it with you. I've got some other bits and pieces to, uh, to do here in the shack and I'm just keeping uh, an eye on the spot at the moment because it looks like there's a, uh, a sporadic E opening on, uh, on two metres over Europe. Uh, I don't think there's anything into the UK yet, but it's it's creeping um, sort of further north into uh, into northern France. So we might have a, a bit of um, spread of key in the UK uh, over the uh, over the weekend, which should be good. Anyway, I'll say 73. Very good to work you for the first time, and um, good luck with the the rest of the work on the on the antennas. M zero DQWG eight RWG. Well, there we go, guys. I say quick overview and uh, look at how you build the HLP-2 2 meter halo folded dipole antenna that you can go ahead and purchase from Moonwaker. Uh, this is the website, so the cost is $24.95, and for the price, it's absolutely brilliant. It's managed to allow me now to get uh, horizontally polarized in an omnidirectional fashion uh, from my location. And uh, once it's up in the air, I'll be doing some more tests and uh, I'll report back and how well it works uh, when it's actually up in the air as well anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you have a great rest of the day and until the next one take care